Good morning, AT. It is morning on Friday from the States on October 13th, and we are going to do some card pulls. Uh, to get started, I'm actually going to go ahead and hit a few of these boxes. First, we're going to start with the Mythic Archer box. And that's for two reasons. One, I want the uh, rest of the stones that I can get so I can start to uh, do one more pull on my Mythic Legendary Power Stones. Uh, sorry, not just Legendary Power Stones. Uh, and then I'm also going to go uh, football training box uh, for this one. I'm probably, uh, you can see I already did one pull. We're going to go up to tier four. If I get the uh, Meg uh, football kickoff uh, card I'm looking for, I might do one more. But I'm uh, two cards away from having a quad on hers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to go back to the archer box. We're just going to do two kick pulls, see what we get. Uh, fingers crossed, either some archer cards is the other reason. I don't know if I mentioned that, but let's see. Nothing. No legs. I commonly refer to legendary cards as legs. Uh, you know, I feel like it's pretty common on my guild and the people I've, you know, been playing with, but might not be standard for everyone else, in case that throws everyone off. There we go, flying suit. Not exactly the character card I was looking for, but I will take it. So we got two there. Let's just make sure we got a thousand. Boom. All right, let's go back and then we're gonna finish our pulls on the training football box. So we're gonna do, I think three pulls, I think is gonna get us to tier four. All right, cool, cool. Uh, I think actually that might be one of the last Philip J. Fries that I actually need to like fill the set to. And I will say I'm actually going to keep uh, Sword Surfer Fry as well, just because that is a great uh, clash combo. And, you know, tis, tis athletic. Sword Surfer. Okay, all right, so training win, not exactly what I was looking for, but this is a pretty good pull, getting two legs uh, right off here, especially when nothing was guaranteed. Now let's go ahead and do 1,400. Um, well, there was one, obviously, that was guaranteed. But uh, we're going to do one more, see if we get the Meg we're looking for, and then if we do, we might try one after that. What up, Joe? Man. Surfer. There we go. All right, well, that's the one I was looking for. So, uh, like I said, we're going to go one more and then see if we, fingers crossed, get our last Meg. Come on, Meg. I don't ask you for you a lot. This is one time you could show up. Luann, I... Oh, hey. Oh. Wow, I got a quad Luann. All right, not what I expected. I don't know how powerful this really... This card is actually going to be at the end. Uh, this looks decent. I, I'd probably play this uh, for the arena here. I'm I'm not going to make uh, a bunch of these cards uh, be a priority of my deck, but I'm not against having it. So that was a pretty happy ending. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for, but I will take it. Uh, after that, we're going to go into the lower side. So let's start with the greater epic stones. Got a Peggy. There we go. Oh, I love Calculon. And also I need to build my art, so that's that's really nice. I would love to have Calculon as a character. Just want to say that now. Even though I don't know if I, I wonder if he actually has all the traits. Obviously art would be a big one. Disguise, that'd be an easy one. Alright, so we're through that. Didn't do anything crazy. Now we're gonna do our super legendary stones, and then we're gonna end with a uh, legendary power stone pull. Uh, with the super legendary stones, I'm probably gonna do, uh, I'm probably gonna leave like five, just for a little backup here. And we're gonna have to filter through. I'm Actually, we're not gonna filter through on this one. I'm gonna go Exterminator Nancy. The older cards I'm just not as interested in, and I know that's obviously a newer one. So with this one, I'm probably gonna lean Karaoke Principal. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh, let's just make sure. Stuffing and drunk and music. So we have, 
I think they're all at the end here. Where are we trying to go? There's a lot here. Alright, Stuffington Academy? Nope. Stuffington, wine, and then... No, I can't even remember the one I was actually thinking about. Karaoke Principal, that's right. Alright, so I do need one Stuffington Academy just to make a quad, and that will clear up some space. And then what am I doing on Wine Bucket? Uh, I don't know. Let's just look at Karaoke Principal here. Apologize, that was not as organized as I could have been. Oh, we need a quad on him. Let's just go here. So Stuffington might come up again. We'll know that we're going to play there. I'll try to be a little bit more pointed uh, when we go to the next ones. Uh, Cement Julep, really high health, great for clash events. And then we also have, uh, I think they're both going to be King of the Hill. And I'm going to look at music and... Four stroke. All right, so we're gonna probably do drunk. Yep, perfect mid julep. All right, leg room or gym equipment. Again, we're hitting the king of the hill. So we're gonna do art and sport and items. Gym equipment. All right, so I can make a fused or legroom, which I think I'm going to go legroom. I really do have the opportunity to build up my legs when it comes to art. Oh, okay. Well, there's three. No. Yeah, that's three. Car Community College. Don't need Tina. Bunny costume is pretty old, and I'm pretty stacked with disguise items right now. Um, I want to say I'm just going to do art again, finger gun, and then the super low health. I know we're obviously in athletic, but uh, that one's just not one that I really want to tap into. This one, I'm not as sure. I know Tom Landry is not going to be the option. I don't like the low health on Quahog, so I'm probably going to look at horse camp and just see where I am. And I'll just take a peek at that first. Horse camp is... Did I filter weird? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's sport, isn't it? It is. All right, so we're going horse camp. Get a fuse there. Okay, this one, I'm probably going to lean animal or music. Let's try that out. All right, so we're going to go animal. We're going to go music. And then... I think it was... Apologies, just a little distracted here. Twerkin Merkin, that's right. Uh, so Miss Merkin, and then, oh, it was Evil Monkey, so we already passed on that. All right, so I don't need Twerkin Merkin, but where were we on Evil Monkey? Evil Monkey for the win. Uh, I feel like slap is probably going to be it. Let's just do bobs real quick. Yep. All right. Uh, this one, probably community college, but sharpen knife uh, does come up in a few of them. So let me just check Futurama items, sharpen knife. All right. So that one's full. And then, what was the other one? Oh, Koha Community College. Art, family guy. Co 
Hog it is. And then for this one, I think this is going to be the prosthetic slap we need. Uh, again, I'm pretty stacked on disguise cards. It's not something I'm really trying to build out anymore. It's probably where I'm, you know, one of the strongest ones that I have overall. Uh, for this one, I'd probably look at Bounce House, and that's going to be Bob's Burgers and Toy. We stole the Moon Bounce and jumped it on the lake. Generally a huge Bob Burgers fan. Propane, not going to work, but dodgeball, I definitely will take right off the bat. This is where we are live, the newest card that we have available. Ooh, um, pretty sure I just made the quad on the, I'm just going to go Murderator. Murderator. By the way, dyslexic, that's just like full ownership, and I am not uh, always going to pronounce everything perfectly. I apologize if that bothers anyone. I also do say legendary too a lot. Just, uh, I don't know, it's like this niche thing that I took up because I call them legs, so I just make the joke when I say the full word. And normally I only say it to myself, which is fine, but when I have other people watching, it might bother. So if it does bother you, just let me know. And if there's anything I can do, as well as just like uh, different highlights that you want covered, uh, I think then just go ahead and reach out and let me know. I'm new to this. This is not something I'm sure I'm even going to keep going as a, a, a standard thing, but for now I'm trying it out and if I can do something or get some ideas and like, you know, what the community is craving, I want to go ahead and try to service that gap as much as I can. And I think we're going to do, this is American Dad. What was the other options? Let's just check and see where Sterling House is, which I don't remember who had that, but starts with an S. We will do that, fine. Mm, yeah. It's one of the newer ones as well. Alright, uh, I think fine wine is going to be... It is fine wine. I just don't like the, the low health on Toxic Shock. I feel like I can barely play it. It has really high attack, so it's good if you can, you know, get that, that card in first slot, but not something I'm trying to build overall. And a pull up on Bobby. Just didn't like the low health on that fighter card as well. Uh, Wong, I feel like I'm pretty good on. I'm going to go Kiki. Let's just look at Wong. The last thing I want to do is just leave where I'm like three cards or, you know, a fuse and, and an unfused. Yeah, I'm good there. I've been purposely trying to avoid that. All right. Um, Taijutsu. I want to build up my fighter. Leg. Ooh, CD warehouse. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Did I fill up my leg room? Or was that the last one I needed? All right, so leg is complete, and where's CD Warehouse? All right, that one needs to be built, and I'm pretty light there. Backhead is the newest. Typically, if, if I wasn't really stacked there, I would encourage anyone else to go after uh, Backhead as well. Um, Candy Tornado or Nerd? I really feel like Nerd is probably what I'll lean into. Future room, I think, was nerd. Okay. And where is Candy Tornado? Bob's. All right. Well, technically, I'm closer on Candy Tornado. Ah, uh, sledding Jesus. Let's go. It just sounds like a fun activity. Um. Signature, signature cocktails, AD, drunk items. We'll get there. So let's, uh, let's start cracking into the next round. I feel like I'm a little slacking on how many copies I have there. Ooh, boombox, let's go. Ah, uh, man, I really love Nanny Natalia, though. 
Uh, let's go into music. I know he's the newest one. This is the responsibly what I should do, just to keep building out those new combos. Yeah, I, I got you. That's I love Nana Natalia, but this is the right move. Um. Yeah. Gotta go fight her. This is gonna be two more, so we have one more after this. Ooh, okay. Uh, these are some pretty good options. Kiki, race car, and Jack Down Bots. Jack Down Bots is just a solid option. It's older, but at the end of the day, it is something that I feel like is really versatile. Um, so where am I here? I gotta go. That's I use it in too many decks, and that's something that's kind of a staple for everything I do. This is gonna be the last leg pull. I'm gonna leave five for me, uh, and we're gonna end with, I think power is what I was building of these options. Nope. And then I want King Bale. So I got a little faster as I was going here. All right. So this is going to be the third that we can have. That was gym equipment. I just looked at to rookie. All right. Now let's go into the legendary power stone. Come on, Meg, finish it out. All right. What do we got here? Um, I don't know if I, I might have diorama gene. It was armed, education, and then art. I definitely don't have, I mean, this is a decent one. I want to see the options. We're gonna go armed, education, and art. Pretty sure I don't have those. Diorama, okay, there's one. I'm pretty sure I didn't do reflections. I was tempted, but it was, I think the, the motivation was too low, and then I decided against it. Nope, I don't got it. So I'm just gonna keep building what I currently have. Diorama Gene, which I also think I have three CM on. Um, I don't have character yet, which I definitely should have unlocked. Oh yeah, I'm way over now. Did I? Let me just back out real quick and go back, because I think I can pull a character as well. Come on, big money. 500, let's go. All right, we're gonna do a character pull as well. Come on, Stan. Oh, Lois, I'll take you. Thank you very much. So yeah, that's gonna be pulls for today. Uh, if you wanna stick around, you can check out a little bit more of my deck and just see what I am gonna be upgrading. Uh, but first, I'm just gonna go from the lowest stance. Actually, we had the... Uh, Power cards come up and they were gonna be both here. So we'll do, get this one. I was really hoping to make a second quad, but I, again, I lucked out, I'm not gonna be greedy. I will take the wins as they come. And then we'll get a quad on Luan. Get these fused. I know everyone is probably super stacked after that times five event. Um, if you are and you're saving up for a certain kind of uh, pre-combo card, uh, definitely you know throw it in the comment. Let me know exactly what you're looking for. Is this trying to be like aimed on a trait? Are you trying to aim for a show? Um, you know what's the the biggest thing that you feel like is missing? I try to take a trait strategy when I pick out uh, like a big box to buy into, but I know that everyone else has their different approach. So let's just go into the standard cards and we're just gonna look at, well, first let's get Lois. Oh, I guess I did not filter all of them. Let's just start upgrading these then. Beautiful monkey. Got my fuse, now I got my quad. Little tip for uh, Elite Card Master Challenge. Uh, always make sure that you are holding all of your resources uh, that you were awarded at the end. So when you get your Rumble, if you didn't need it to win because there was two hours after you get Rumble rewards before the actual uh, Elite Card Master Challenge ends on the previous round. But make sure that you are trying to save that 
don't pull anything that it was in your rewards until you actually start. Uh, it's a, one thing that I commonly see, especially on Reddit, you know, I get that people are eager and they just want to start building and it's only a few thousand points if you really don't care. But I, you know, I definitely want to build out my points as much as possible. And, you know, to save a penny is, is nothing to bat an eye at, especially when I'm, uh, you know, playing Elite Card Master Challenge. It's it's not always if you're going to get outplayed uh, with Elite Card Master Challenge. It's if you're going to get outspent. To be honest, I, I normally try to reconsider or hit the brakes once I see it crowding around like 400,000. Uh, that's normally one of the caps that I, I try not to go after unless I'm already like pretty heavily invested. But I am more of a, you know, hit 100,000 and then sleep for the rest uh, until it comes for the end. Because if you just play the pissing competition all the way up till the end, you know, you're going to spend a lot more and just kind of waste some time and resources. If you hold off and try to keep it a lower value and then just go all out at the end, uh, that's typically where you're going to get the, the best return. I will also say I'm not the hugest fan of sniping. Definitely do it when I have a competitor who just like will not let me stabilize first. But I do try to, to keep that first place spot, uh, make sure that my presence is known because I don't want anyone wasting their resources. I also like tend to put my score exactly on like the zeros. So, you know, I might do like 40,000 today or 420, who knows, 42,000 just to send like a message that not only am I playing, I want you to notice me and I also know how to build the score, which is very easy and tailor it uh, to an exact number, which kind of just shows that, you know, you, you take it serious. And that's something I can definitely share out in another video. I think on Reddit, I did post uh, how to do that. It's, you just use the adventure refills. It's really simple because it's one point per adventure refill. So whatever your deficit is to the number you're trying to achieve, you just minus it and you play that many adventure hits. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just need to use the energy. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. Uh, so something to consider. All right, so we're gonna update Power Gym, which that's the one I didn't check. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm glad I actually had something to fuse. Am I gonna go, no, not a quad. So just a, a fuse there. And then I'm gonna filter actually back here. Let me just take this out. I'm just gonna keep it to items and then hopefully we should be easier to upgrade everything this way. What else we got? Let's see, warehouse. Yeah, definitely created some clutter for myself. I was hoping that a lot of this was going to be more upgrades and cleaning house than anything else, but so close. Dodgeball, upgrade. I also really wish there was a mass upgrade feature. If you could just see everything that's like not, uh, you know, loaded with the gigawatt gigawatts that you are capable of having. This one I think is the newest card. I'm going to hold off on doing this more than a fuse. Um, I typically, once it's, you know, a few rounds past, I will try to uh, do uh, all quads, but for brand new cards, I, I like to keep those fused just to see if something new comes out in Clash and just have something ready for it. Let's see, is this, uh, what's the, that's Sport, okay. Athletic, gym equipment, I think this one's gonna be a quad. See, I'm already training some gigawatts here. Let's see where I end up at the end. Nope. Thought that was going to be a quad. Force camp. Pretty sure this one is, but you know, maybe it's my trend here where I just keep saying it and I'm wrong. Not perfect. Still learning as I go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I am literally jinxing myself. All right, that's great. I'm going to stop assuming anything. As I say it, I approach this card and I know for a fact I'm going to be quadding. Because I made a big point about that. Finally, I was right. Okay. I, that would have sucked if I was eating my words again. I love Jacked on Bots. It's just like such an early card, has great health, like decent attack. It's, it's probably it's just strong for, for how old it is. 
Kiki, do you love me? Yeah, I can't sing, sorry. Uh, let's see here. You probably didn't come here for my singing, though. You came here to watch me spend all this resource. My teammates were giving me a hard time about uh, spending money on the legendary power stones uh, just to see the, uh, the pool in one of the previous videos. And I was just joking that, uh, you know, I'm Jerry Smith. I spend money so you don't have to do the stupid things just so you can watch and take part. This one's the newest one as well. I don't know, like aesthetically, like, I don't know if it's the colors or something, but like something just feels like off about this card. I don't know what it is. But again, I'm gonna leave that one infused and then I'll just upgrade this one. Maybe you just don't see a lot of that like green on any of the other cards. It just seems like it stands out a little differently to me. Sad ball. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great card. <laughs> For as old as, as King of the Hill is, I am still surprised that they are able to find little punches like that. I mean, there's a lot of show, and I feel like this is actually a, a pretty deep resource that you can tap on for most of these characters, so that's probably a little naive on my part just to even give credit, but I don't know. I think for the older show and the older animations, I just like to see it being like creatively looked at in so many different ways, and Sad Ball, I think, is one of those examples that just kind of brings me joy. I wonder, I haven't been paying close attention to the Futurama uh, cards, but I wonder if they have rights to the latest uh, episodes that were produced like outside of Fox. I assume they do, but I actually don't know for sure. If anyone knows, that, uh, that'd that be interesting to have some insight. If there's any cards that you know from like the last few seasons, I think they were produced by Comedy, Comedy Central, at least in the States, I assume they were, but there could be a larger thing that's going on in the background I'm not aware of. Got my leg, my leg, quad leg, leg room. All right, and I think that's it. So that's gonna be where we land at. Uh, let me just clean out some of the, oh, I did get the, uh, the, oh, what am I gonna say? The epic athletic fry combos, power combos. Wow, that was way too hard. Let's get that upgraded too. Got a clean house. Honestly, a, a clean deck is, is what I try to maintain it at most times, as clean as it can be. Um, you know, some of you have probably seen things that, that maybe you consider is not as clean as it could be. Uh, I know that everyone has their different levels of OCD, but I uh, do try to keep everything upgraded. Uh, you know, don't try to have anything where I don't upgrade or at least, you know, fill with the gigawatts to the current point that it could be. Um, I know not everyone has the ability to do that, so I, I do understand. It comes from a point of privilege when you know you play as uh, aggressively as I do, and then also just you know find yourself a good team too. I will say, like when I first started playing, I was a, a free-to-play player, and you know finding a good team to get in with that just had like a good community, was active playing, uh, got good rewards. You know, I was frequently top hundred. Uh, I, Verge, I would say top 75 uh, towards the end, but then I uh, ended up, you know, going into the uh, the payments, and obviously this is where, uh, do I want that? I don't think I want that. I can always use the, uh, the buyback feature if, if needed, too. So there's always a way back. Okay, cool. Uh, so we are clean uh, and pretty much at 30 minutes uh, as far as recording goes. So uh, hopefully you like living vicariously as I went and pulled and probably pissed off uh, some of my elite card. Oh, no. Elite card master challenge uh, competitors. Uh, and then that's going to be it. I hope y'all have some good pulls ahead of you. Uh, great weekend. 
And, you know, I'll just see you on the, uh, in the arena, in Rumble, and all around the battles. Have a good one.